For most people who are in some way creative or enjoy a creative hobby, probably eventually the thought will turn to, why don't I write a book? A lot of people have the ambition to get published at some point, or just to write a book perhaps for themselves, but they never really know where to begin. And even then when they do begin, there's a common problem which comes up. Writer's block. It's a common disorder. One minute you're happily going along, tottering away as you go, clickety clacketing every word out of your fingers, only to then find, oh, and then suddenly you have no idea of where to go next. Suddenly you have a big wall in the way of everything else you may want to write, and it saps every single piece of motivation out of whatever you wanted to write. As a result, you may end up dropping writing that book entirely. No matter how far in you got, you'll just forget about it. Instead of going, oh, I just need to find a way around it, you'll instead go, oh, well, guess writing isn't for me. Not true. Sure, writer's block is a common disorder, as common as the common cold, which is why there are common ways to get rid of it. So today, let's talk about writer's block and really go through how to get past it and how to really get back into writing. Coming to it, I actually found when planning this video, I had writer's block about writer's block. Oh, the sweet irony. Really what it came down to was expectation versus reality, and I think that's a good place to start. Because let's be honest here, if you're writing, say, your first book, for example, you may have a lot of ambitions about writing your first book, and that's great. Having ambition is a brilliant thing. But when your ambition outweighs your ability, that may be where you may get into trouble. Maybe don't start by writing the whole book out. Maybe start by just writing a chapter over a week. Just get started. It doesn't matter about how long it takes you to write that first book, it matters that you do write that first book. Set realistic expectations for yourself. Because in reality, it's going to be a learning curve. I mean, take this video as my example. I wasn't sure about how, what sort of advice to give in terms of writer's block because I never really thought about it. If I thought I just don't want to write, I just don't write. So I don't really have any sort of set advice I can give. Maybe my advice is too generic and that kind of put me off a bit making this video. But really it's not about giving advice that may seem generic or that may seem specific. It's about what works for the individual. So with that said, here's just what works for me. The first piece of advice I can give, which is probably the most generic, is just taking time away. That doesn't mean stop writing. Sometimes it could just be as simple as taking time to write something else. If you're stuck on a certain project, maybe take some time away from it. Give yourself that time to refresh. It doesn't have to be for a long time, just give yourself a little break. Something I like to do, for example, is go on nice bike rides when weather allows. I just give myself that little bit of recharge time. Then maybe it turns out that when I get back to that piece of writing, I can finish it. Maybe not to a great quality, but at least I have a first draft. Because what do they say? Time heals all wounds. Sometimes quite literally, if you look at examples of trefening where they've healed after a certain length of a time. Whew. But sometimes writer's block is not a symptom of having poor ambition, or having poor expectations, or time management. Sometimes it's a matter of being prepared. Which is why another way to curb writer's block is to quite simply have an outline. Before you really sit down to write that book or that short story, have an outline in place of where the story is going to go, of what stages the story is going to hit. Sometimes that outline can change as you're actually writing the piece, that's, that's natural. But if you have that guideline, if you have that guide map of where the story is going to go, you're going to be far less likely to hit writer's block, or at least if you do, you have something set in place so that you can get back to where you were more easily. So what are some times of where I've hit writer's block? Well actually, I can say I have had writer's block when I've written my first book, because I'm writing it right now. Now as I've already said, expectations versus reality is important, so going in I had already decided just to keep the plot simple and focus on the characters. And that came in really handy, because then the story's flow came more through how the characters would interact with this given situation and with each other over dictating how the plot would go. And so, for a long while, for several chapters, I think to about ten chapters in, the story flowed very naturally. But there was this one section that I just could not get past. Looking back at it, what it really was was that there were a lot of moving paths in this misadventure. Loads of different moving parts, loads of different details, things I wanted to do that weren't meshing with what I was writing. It got messy, so I said, let me put this down for a bit, and I left it for months. 
I went to go and write other things. I did loads of short stories, really practiced my craft a bit more. And then when I started to really think about the book again, and I really went, oh, I really want to start writing it again. I thought, oh, but what about that, that hurdle of this chapter that's just not working? So I said, let me just start over. So that's exactly what I did. And I deleted everything of that chapter and started over. Just keeping the things of just the settings and maybe a couple of details. Really streamlined the chapter so they kept to that simplicity that just focused on the characters. And it certainly has worked so far. It can be really easy once you hit that stumbling block. Especially when, beforehand, you were cruising along. As soon as you hit that hurdle, it just shatters that confidence you had before. It shatters that ability and you go away and you go, Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to power on through and really finish that piece. But if we were able to quit everything as soon as things got hard, then we wouldn't be able to do anything. Struggle and hardship is part of the process. I mean, think about it from the perspective of the characters you write. If the characters you wrote gave up every single time things got hard, then what would there be to write? So take heart. It can be a bit difficult at times to write. It can sometimes be difficult to figure out where things are going to go, how things will sound, what someone will say, or how to describe a place. But that's just part of the process. You have that story within you. You have that one story that needs to be told, that's sitting in your heart, that God gave you to bring out to the world. It's your job to bring it out to the forefront. And you've got the potential to do that. So don't give up. Keep writing.